Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawadah, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, and double honest of the apostles of the great millstone who I learned this truth from. To the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so this lesson is just going to be um, around, you know, the uh, around the uh, uh, idea, or um, you know, through the spirit, I was, um, you know, just uh, reading, and I actually came across the uh, came across this through the spirit. I wasn't even uh, particularly looking for this, but um, you know, the topic is going to be entitled somewhere around uh, to to love is to be diligent. All right, or you know, something to that effect. Okay, and uh, basically, you know, going into the word uh, love in the Greek, all right, you have the word uh, uh, agapeo, and you also have the word uh, phil, phil, phileo, okay, and there's two different types of love, all right, it has two different meanings, and then the, the, the word agapeo goes in actually into, um, you know, being diligent, all right, and that's what Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is seeking after, you know, us to, to, to show, all right, to show our diligence, all right, that's showing our diligence is showing our love for Yahweh Shai, all right, it's not just, you know, in, in, in words, it's not just a, you know, in a, a feeling, all right, but it's an action, okay, so this is from the um, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, all right, and this is, uh, this app, man, this is a good app, all right? I've been had it, but I haven't really used it, you know, and, and I just started using it through the spirit. That's a lot of edification comes from this app. Uh, this app is uh, from, for the iPhone. It's called uh, eSword uh, LT. All right. And they also have another one that's called uh, eSword HD, which is uh, about four ninety nine. But this app is free. All right. And it goes into a lot of different things, man. So this is what I found, you know, through the spirit. Um, start at the top right here. It says Christ or Hamashiach's interview with the apostle Peter on the shore of the Sea of Tiberias, John 21 uh, 15 to 18 sets before us a most beautiful way the different shades of the meaning as as found in the new testament all right and this is actually salakia going to the definition of the word love all right because you know a lot of people love to say <laughs> that they love god you know i love god love god but you know when you go into the actual love that yahweh bashim yahushai requires all right uh, for us to have is 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 actually an action OK, and it goes into being um, diligent. All right. in in what he and what his will is. So it says of uh, meaning found in the New Testament words phileo and agapeo. OK, so I'm going to go to that, that scripture because in that word, in this uh, scripture, John 21, 15, both the agapeo and phileo are, are used. So I'm going to read this John 21 to 15. It says, so when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my lambs. Okay, so when you look into the, the strongs of, of these words, okay, we're going into the meaning of words as, as we've been taught from our elders. The word Yahweh Shai used, all right, I mean, obviously they were speaking uh, Hebrew, but the way it was translated into the Greek, all right, shows you that Yahweh Shai was actually speaking of something different than the feeling of, of love, all right? He was speaking something deeper, all right? Something more impactful. So Yahweh Shai said, uh, Simon, uh, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Now, that word lovest in the Greek is right here, agapeo, okay? So when Peter responded, uh, he said, he saith unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Now, Peter responded in a phileo, which is to what? To be a friend, to be fond of. That is to have affection, personal attachment as a matter of sentiment or feeling. OK, so Peter, he was speaking about the feeling that he had for Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Shai was speaking something wider as he goes right here. It says, while G25, which is the gapeo, the word that Yahweh Shai used is wider Embracing especially the judgment and the deliberate assent of the will as a matter of principle, duty, and property. All right? That's what Yahweh Shah was saying unto Peter. Okay? Do you have this agape love for me, which is what? The, the, the love of, of the duty, okay? Of the will that, that, I want, that I want you to do. Okay? Because, and that's what? 
that's that's showing the ultimate type of love, okay? Because what did Yahweh Shah say? All right, when he said that, he said, "Feed my feed my lamps," okay? That's what because that's the duty, that's the principle. All right, especially starting with um Peter because Peter is the head disciple, and we're all you know underneath uh, uh you know underneath Peter, Peter being um King David. All right, we all part of the house of David, Lord willing. All right, our jobs is to do what? To show our love for Yahweh Shai. If we if if we love Yahweh Shai, this is how we show it by being what? By feeding His lamb. Now we go into that word feed. It says to what? To feed or to keep? All right. And in order to keep something, you gotta diligently, you gotta diligently uh, uh, be active in in uh, maintaining it. All right, the maintenance of it. Okay, right here it says to feed, portraying the duty of a Christian teacher, all right, or a follower of Hamashiach teacher to promote in every way the spiritual warfare, uh, so like spiritual welfare of the members of the church, okay, in every way, all right, promoting in every way the spiritual welfare of the members of the church. And how do you do that? You got to be diligent when you're, when you're doing that, all right, the duty. And we just read that. In the word for agape, I mean, in, in the yeah, for the word for agape, it's what? Uh, Salaki, let me go back to that. It says, embracing especially the judgment and the deliberate assent of the will as the matter of principle, duty, and property. Okay? And that's what we as teachers, all right, prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we are, we have to give diligence in order to feed the sheep, man. And that's showing the true love. It's not about the feeling. It's not about, you know, the 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 fond. Of course, we're fond of Yahweh Shai. Of course, we have a strong affection towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Shai, <laughs> he told Peter that I want you to have this type of love for me. Okay? Because this is the ultimate love. And going back to that, all right, when we read it here, it says, um, in the question of Hamashiach, lovest thou me more than these? The Greek word agapis denotes the highest, most perfect kind of love. Okay? So there's levels to love, man. All right? So if you truly love the Lord, that you got to have this agapeo love, man, which is the highest, most perfect kind of love. And that love in the Greek equivalates or is, syn is synonymous to the Latin diligere. Okay? And we're going to go into that word diligere. If you can obviously tell, you know, where what 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 root that is. All right. It says implying a clear determination of will and judgment. All right. Did not Yahweh said what? That, that that he loves judgment. All right. It says and belonging and belonging particularly to the spear of divine revelation. You see? So this is what we're supposed to have, man. All right. That agape, a.k.a. that diligere love. OK, which is implying a clear determination of the will. Now, what did the scriptures tell uh, Yahweh Shai say? What's that? John 4, verse 34. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Okay? Why? Because that's what that's what the <laughs> that's the, the, the love that you're supposed to have, man. That's the highest love. And that's why Yahweh said unto, said that this is my son who I'm well pleased in. Okay? Because his meat, what he was about, he loved his father so much, he was doing what? He he was doing the will. He was determined to do the will that his father has sent him. And that's why Yahweh Shai asked Peter that three times, okay? That asked him, do you have that agape love for me, okay? Are you determined to do the duty that I sent you out to do, which is what? Feed the sheep. And you got to feed the sheep being diligent, okay? So now we're going to go to the word diligence, in, in etamon.com, uh, etamonline.com, it says diligence, constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. Now, going back, what what did the Lord require us to undertake? All right. Starting with uh, the Apostle Peter, what were we required to undertake? It says what? If uh, he saith unto me, I'm going to just go to the bottom. He saith unto him, feed my lambs. That's what we are required to undertake, okay? And have constant and earnest effort in doing so. It says from the old French diligence, attention, care, or haste, speed, directly from the Latin dilig uh, diligentia, attentiveness, intensiveness, carefulness, from dilig uh, dil diligentum, 
attentiveness, assidu assiduous, careful, present particle, adjective from Dilligeri. You see that? From Dilligeri. Single out. We just read Dilligeri. Okay. Single out, high value, value highly, esteem, praise, love. You see? Love. So true love is being diligent, man. Okay, or, or you can say diligence is true love. And that's the love that the Lord is seeking for us to have. And diligent in what? Feeding the sheep, man. Attending to the lambs. Attending to the, to the flock. Aspire to be, aspire to be content with, appreciate. Because we got to appreciate what the Lord gave us, which is his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, his sacrifice for dying for us, okay? For being that unblemished, perfect lamb, okay? And the way we show our true love all right, the highest form of love is by what? Giving diligence. All right, so we get some, uh, get a couple of scriptures on that. Because when you go into the word, all right, uh, a lot of times when you, when you click in, if you just uh, search diligent and love, a lot of scriptures come up, man. Uh, let me see, diligence. Diligence, love. Let's see what comes up. All right. Um, there was a couple more. Uh, I might, might have to put diligent or something else. But this is one. This is Second Corinthians chapter two. Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse seven. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, in utterance, in knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love, okay, and that's the what the gap agapeo, okay, your love. To to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. All right. This is uh where else you got it at? The book of um Hebrews chapter six, I believe is verse six, uh around the fourteenth chapter, fourteenth verse. Salakia. Yeah, here we go. Uh Hebrews chapter six, verse ten. It says, For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your your work. And your labor of love. Okay, what is the labor? Giving diligence, being uh, attentive. All right, going back to the word diligence. All right, constant and, and earnest effort. <clears throat> earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken, which is what? Okay, going out here and feeding the sheep. Okay, being careful, being attent uh, uh, being apt to teach, having care. Being haste, speedily. There's not scriptures talks about being apt to teach. All right, not being slothful, but being fervent in business. What business? The business of the will of the Lord, man. So it says, "Has not forget uh, is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love, which ye have showed toward His name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister." That's a service right there. You go into the word minister, it means to serve or servant. It says, verse eleven, and we desire that every one of you, uh, we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. Okay. To the to the to the full assurance of hope until the end. Okay, so what? That diligence is equivalent to the labor of love, man. All right, and that's what the Lord it, it was asking uh, Peter, which he's he's asking us the same thing. Okay, you can't say you love the Lord, but you're not being diligent because true diligence, all right, is love. All right, or true or the highest form of love is being diligent. Okay, in the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Dilijeri. Okay, doing the will, determined to do the will in judgment. Okay, uh, uh, of of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has set us forth to do. You see, so let me see if there's any more uh, precepts that I can pull out. Oh wait, I know there's one in. Um, actually, let me pull this. Go to the word diligence. In this um, definition or this dictionary. So right here it says diligent, diligent, diligently. All right. So the, so this word is used in, in different uh, meanings. But in this scripture right here, Deuteronomy 6 verse 17, ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your power and his testimonies and his statutes which he have commanded you, uh, commanded thee. All right. Diligently keep. And we went into the word feed means to what? When the Lord said, feed my sheep, the, the word feed means to keep. Okay, so we're supposed to diligently keep the commandments. 
All right, and that's showing the true love. Oh, actually, there's a scripture that's, that speaks about what is the love of the Most High. Uh, was that First John 5 and 4? Or is it First John 4 and 5, 4 and 3? All right, yep, First John 5 and 3. It says, for this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Okay, so this is the love. This is the love, the agape. You go to that word there, the agape. This is what the this is the love that the Lord requires us to do. The highest form of love is what? Is being diligent in what the Lord tells us to do, man. And that goes from keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities. That goes to feeding the sheep, okay? And that and, and uh constantly, all right, uh and earnestly, man. That's what it is to be diligent. So let's see what uh, other words, you know, come up with uh, the word diligence. All right. Oh, yeah. Given diligence. Uh, yep. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse not, 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. All right. That fervent is what? Being diligent. Okay. Being diligent in the will, which is the business of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Uh let me get that in um first peter's first peter 2 it's a lot second peter's 1 and 10 second peter chapter 1 verse 10 it says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure so give love all right give that give that earnest attention which Yahweh Shai is asking us if that do you have you can once again you can't say you love the Lord but you're not being diligent that's that's not the love that's not the love if if it's not that that love the love the Yahweh Shai is not looking for that phileo love man he's looking for that for that agape love he's looking for that diligery love okay it says give diligence to make your calling and election sure and if you do these things ye shall never fall all right uh, what else? I was going to type in diligent, you know, but basically I uh, got to the point, man. It says, uh, Proverbs 4 and 23. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Okay. Um, Yep. Yeah, man. You know, so yeah, that's that's basically it. There was another scripture that I was I was looking for. Uh let's see if I can just type it in. Let's see what pops up. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah. Um Deuteronomy 4, verse 9. It says, Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Least thou forget the things which thou have seen, uh, which which thy eyes have seen, and least thy depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them to thy sons and thy sons' sons. <coughs> and this is what I wanted, Salakia. Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Okay, so this is how you love the Lord. Keep going. Verse six. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by thy way and when thou liest down and when thou raiseth up. So there you go, man. And to love the Lord is to be diligent in serving the Lord, man. Okay. You can't be saying you love the Lord and you're not diligently serving him. Oh, yep. And I'll end it with this one. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High, Yahweh, must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? Diligently seek him. Meaning what? Seeking him with that uh, with that perfect love, man. And he's going to reward you. Okay? He's going to reward you. But you got to be diligent. And, and especially doing the will of the Lord, 
which as, as a prophet of the Lord is feeding the sheep, feeding the church. Okay, so hey, you no know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect. I know I was kind of, you know, all over the place, but you know, uh, he'd have ears to hear, let him hear, man. And let and Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect, man. Okay, that uh, the, that uh, agape love is that diligent love. All right, love is being diligent. All right, and that's the love that Yahweh Shai is looking for. So with that, call Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom.